So basically my topic is about the CIA's connection with the drug, the drug war of the 1980s taking place in Los Angeles ghettos, basically the southern part of California. And it is possible that the CIA knew about all the illegal drug trafficking of crack cocaine from Nicaragua to the United States. So what I want to do is to research the connection between the two. There is there are two main dealers that we're dealing with right now. There is Ricky Ross, who just so happens to be the dealer from um, from the United States. He is an African American and was basically from the ghetto, but he's making a lot of money through the drug money that he is getting in. There is also the dealer from the Contra side from Nicaragua. His name is Danilo Blandon. Blandon. Kind of like Brandon, but Blandon. With a little accent over the O. Very, very um, Hispanic, if you would mind me saying that. So, there is a lot of evidence regarding this. There is a lot of drug money that no one can really track. I mean, no one knows where it went, no one knows where it came from, but we all basically can assume it's drug money. Like, so, another piece of evidence that I found is that there is a lot of evidence showing that the Reagan administration of this time knew about what was going on with the CIA and decided to just put a little waiver on the fact that um, they know what's going on, but the CIA doesn't really have to report this to us, so not necessarily true that it's fair, but it's definitely not something that the public wants to know. So this whole scandal is possibly about the fact that this was all covered up by the CIA. And so because of Gary Webb's findings, like per the journalist who works for the San Jose Mercury News from, the 1990, from 1996, he was, I think he, he committed suicide because of the pressure that he was feeling from the government and his job, saying that you cannot write something this controversial because it will expose us. There is theory that maybe the CIA threatened him, that the conscious effect threatened him. It's a lot of dangerous information that he's done. And he wrote, even wrote a book that I'm going to read soon called Dark Alliance. This thick, pretty, pretty nice. I mean, look at all that. That's my next source. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out good.